In this video today, we're going to be showing you how to output GPS NEMA strings from a Topcon X25 monitor to an X30 monitor. On the X25, for harness, we are using a 101-4172-01, and for the X30, we are using an AGA 4072 or an AGA 5072. Uh, the harnesses may vary depending on your application, but this video will show you the general gist of how to do it. Uh, we're also going to first uh, install a DB9 null modem gender changer, and then we'll show you what to do on the monitor to output your GPS strings. So I'm going to install the null modem gender changer on our two harnesses here. I'm plugging it into the COM2 port on our AGA 4702 and I'm plugging it into the GPS out slash Xlinks plug on our <clears throat> 101-4172-01 harness on our X25. Uh, next we'll show you what we need to change on the monitor to finish the process. Now that we've installed our null modem between the two console harnesses, we want to go to our consoles and get them set up. As you can see on our X25, we are showing 16 satellites from our AGI-4, as well as uh, 8 miles per hour simulated speed that I set up. And on the X30, you can see that we don't have any satellites and uh, it's not showing 8 miles an hour. So that's the goal is to get the X30 to match our X25. So to start off on the X25, we want to go to the setup bench in the bottom left and we want to go over to system. And first thing we'll just check our serial ports. Uh, typically you want to have the receiver set to COM1 and if you're doing outputting and inputting, you typically want to have it set to COM2. So that's how we have it set up. So that looks good. Uh, next we'll go over to the GPS tab over here and we will go over to output. Uh, first thing we want to do is enable output, the check mark. Uh, we want to set the baud rate. Topcon recommends uh, 38400, so we'll check it to that. The important thing with the baud rate is you want it to match between consoles, but uh, we'll, we'll check that when we go to the X30 next. Uh, we want to set our hertz to 5 or 10, we'll set it to 10. Um, and then over here, we want to enable GGA which is our coordinates and location, uh, VTG, which is our speed, ZDA, which is our date and time. And those are the three strings that are typically what you use and what we want to output to the X30. Next, we'll show you how to set up the X30 to input the NEMA strings. Over here on the X30, as you can see, we still don't have any satellites or uh, speed even though we have everything set up on the X25 for outputting and we have our null modem installed We still got to set this up to receive it So we're going to go to the wrench again on the bottom left and we're going to go over to system. We'll check our serial ports so in this case uh, Since we're inputting we want our receiver set to COM2 So that looks right and that's the only COM port that we have to worry about here Now we'll go over to GPS and we'll go to receiver we want to change our receiver type to NEMA source, so we'll check mark there. And now once we're here, like I said earlier, we want to make sure our baud rate matches between the two monitors, so we'll set it to 38400, hit the check mark. And now if we go back to our main screen, there you go, we can see we got 16 satellites and our speed is matching on both consoles. Hopefully this uh, helps you out and gives you a little bit of information that you can use. Uh, Thanks for watching and have a great day.